Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to talk about the different types of people you'll come across in engineering school. So, let's get started. Okay, so I thought I would make this fun little video about what types of engineering people you'll meet because obviously there's going to be a wide range of them and they're very, very unique characters. So I thought I would just, you know, put this video together and just kind of give you guys a description of these different types of people and what you should expect. So with that, I'm going to get to it. The very first person you'll probably come across in engineering school is the genius. They know all the solutions to the problems. They understand the material. Um, and if they don't know what it is, they can quickly understand it and it just, it clicks with them. And any sort of homework problems they have, uh, they are able to do it within hours. Um, and the tests, they fly by those because they just know the material. They're just geniuses, that's all I can say. Um, they're the ones who are always answering other people's questions or um, helping other people out because they don't understand the problem and uh, they do. So that's the first type of person and if you come across those, just become best friends with them because they will be your lifesaver later on. The next type of person is just the one that's in it for the job. Um, now I actually fall into this category. They're the ones that just go to engineering so that they could get a high salary job. They don't really care about the actual work that they're doing or are interested in it. They are just um, in it for the long term, which is to get a high paying salary. And that's exactly what I was. So um, those are the ones that are probably just going to be chilling in the class, um, you know, just doing the bare minimum, doing all the homework assignments, you know, obviously studying for the tests um, and probably going to the professor, uh, asking for help every now and then, but they're not going to be, you know, going out of their way to maybe become a TA or to uh, help other students out because they are learning it themselves. They're just trying to get through the classes. So that's the second type of person you'll probably come across. Uh, the third type of person is going to be the quiet one. Now the quiet one is going to be in the back room, always <laughs> sits in the back row of the classroom. They're going to be um, very reserved and not say much of anything, but that doesn't mean that they won't understand or know the material. They're not getting distracted by other things. They're just focused on the work and the assignments and what the professor is saying. And they just don't want to deal with talking to others. They just prefer to keep to themselves. With that being said, I was also one of these quiet people. Uh, I always sat in the back last row um, all the time and I didn't like being up at the front, especially you know when the class has already started and everyone is just staring at you and you're more likely to be picked on by the professor. I didn't really talk to anyone in my class and it did hurt me a little bit because I didn't talk to anyone. I didn't really have very many classmates that I could uh, reach out to if I needed help with the homework. But you know, again, there was always the internet that I uh, relied on and I went back to and that always helped me. Um, now others may think that that's very weird and that those people in the back are very strange, <laughs> but let me, let me assure you guys that we're not. It's just that we prefer to keep to ourselves and to not say much and to not be called on by the professor. Uh, so yeah, we're just not very big participators, so to speak, in the class. The next person you'll come across is the outgoing person, the socialite, the one who is at the front of the class. They're the exact opposite of that shy person or that quiet person. They're the ones who are always asking questions to the professor and trying to understand certain things and why the professor is saying this or that. They are friends with almost everyone in the class, even the ones in the back row. Uh, they are just very talkative and it does help them because they're able to, you know, form groups with others and if they don't understand something, they can always ask their classmate or their friend, hey, what's the answer to this and why is it this answer? Um, and that person is able to help them out with that. So that does benefit them in that way. But they are also very, like I said, very talkative and could also be kind of annoying. Um, but it's just part of who they are, I guess. If you come across those kind of people, it's easy to be friends with them. Um, however, I, I've noticed, this is just from my own personal experiences, those who are very talkative like that tend to use their social skills to become friends with those who are more knowledgeable and they just copy off of them. It's not the case for everyone, but you know, it's just be wary of those social talkative people because they could just be using you to get homework assignment answers or as a tutor. So just keep that in mind. The next one is girls or women, females, however you want to call us. Um, if you don't already know, I'm, I'm one of them, just in case you're, you know, wondering otherwise. But uh, a lot of the times there's very few girls in the class surrounded by like 
20 or 30 other guys. And it's something that I noticed personally, I don't know about the other girls, uh, but I just had to realize that, okay, well, yes, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but at the same time, when you're the minority in a group, then you are hyper aware of like everything around you and you feel like you're an outsider. So if you see one in like a senior level class, well, um, just say hi to her. Or if you're also another female, be friends with her. Um, try to reach out to her whenever you can because that's something that I wish I would have done is just reach out to more of the other girls in my class. Um, but again, like I said, I was just really quiet and reserved so I didn't really want to do that or I didn't do that. But I think it would have helped immensely if I did because uh, you know, we, we, we need to help each other out wherever we can and not be as inti intimidated by you know the other guys in the class because you know, for whatever reason, I don't know. I felt intimidated, maybe maybe the other girls didn't, but um, yeah. The last type of person you'll come across are the um, future CEO guys. So what I mean by that are those who are in those engineering classes so that they could have the technical skills as well as the professional and managerial skills to climb up the ladder and to either build a business or to become a CEO of a existing business. So they will, of course, go into an engineering field because it's a very technical field. You'll get paid a lot of money if you are a CEO of a tech company. So they'll be taking these engineering classes. They have the technical skill background and probably end up majoring in um, business administration with an electrical engineering degree or a computer engineering degree, some type of engineering degree and they'll be that much more likely to uh, you know, further their career and become a CEO, hopefully. These people are probably very innovative in the classroom. They're the ones who are, you know, they are talkative and they socialize, they network, so to speak, and they also not necessarily try to understand the material, but more so trying to get that in with the professor, or if they wanted to start a business to um, better understand how they're able to, you know, get the back end working of that business or that tech or whatever they want to start up. You wouldn't want to trust everything they say because they could just be saying it to get on your good side and just trying to get something out of you. Uh, but then again, they could just be very friendly about it and you know they could just uh, be very, very cool people. So I did forget to mention one other type of person and that's the older people. And I don't want to categorize them as, you know, like it's a bad thing, but they're the ones who are probably 40, 50 years old, and they're taking this engineering class. Now, I don't know if this is the case with all classes, whether it's engineering or not, uh, but I have noticed it as the courses got more and more specific that there were more and more like 40, 50 year olds in the class. So that's why I'm mentioning this one. I think the reason why is because they maybe were a technician for a while and they wanted to further their degree later on. And so they went back to school to get their bachelor's or their master's, whatever they were trying to get. And they are in these classes now and they're the more difficult ones because they've had previous experience or previous knowledge. They are the ones who know what the professor is talking about they're probably friends with the professor um, and they're the ones who probably challenge the professor too and question like okay wait why is it that answer like I got this answer and I know my answer is correct what, what are you doing over there you know they're the ones who probably confront the professor more often than any other student in the class uh, but they're also very nice and if you go up to them and ask them for help they'll actually probably love that you are asking them for help and you know asking for advice and they'll be more than willing to give it to you so that's just something to keep in mind if you ever see those kind of people or if you ever see them um, reach out to them if you need any help or you know if you have a question about something they've actually had the previous experience in their job so they're more likely to actually know the information before the professor explains it to the class and so they could help you out immensely with that those are all the types of people that you will probably come across in engineering I hope you guys like this video and you found it useful or helpful in any way if you did please give it a thumbs up and a like and if you want me to maybe make a part two of this then please let me know in the comments down below and yeah I hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching bye